Hello there, Dragonborn. This is Such Potential here with an instructional video on how to install and configure my Skyrim mod, Way of the Voice. This installation is a bit more in-depth than your typical mod, but I promise you the end result is well worth it. To begin, do as you would with any other mod installation, and go to the Files tab on the Nexus mod page. From here, click the Mod Manager Download button on the most recent version of Way of the Voice. When you click this button, it will tell you the requirements for running this mod, which is to download the most recent test build of Voice Macro. Whether you're upgrading from a previous version of Way of the Voice or installing it for the first time, I recommend clicking this link before clicking the download button and checking the Voice Macro download page to download the most recent build of Voice Macro. It's important not to download and install the latest public release, but instead installing the latest test build of Voice Macro. This is because the author of Voice Macro has been working very closely with me as I develop Way of the Voice, and has added features that allow me to make Way of the Voice even better, but these features are only available in the test build. If you have previously downloaded and installed the public release version, I would recommend fully uninstalling that from your system and then running the test build from an unzipped folder somewhere on your hard drive. I personally run it from a folder on my desktop, but almost anywhere on your hard drive would work just fine. The only place that you shouldn't install it is in program files and it's especially bad to overwrite the public build with the files from the test build, as you'll run into a lot of interesting errors if you do that. Once you have both of those files downloaded, it's time to move over to your mod manager and install the way of the voice file that we downloaded. During the install process, most of the pages are informational only. The only ones that you need to pay attention to are the version select here, whereas if you press Skyrim or Skyrim VR, the plugin that will be installed is a .esp file, which works in all versions. But if you select Skyrim SE, it will be a .esl file, which only works on Skyrim Special Edition. The only other option that actually does anything is Favorite Fist under the Supported Mods section will install the files required to actually use Favorite Fist, a mod by EPS01 in Way of the Voice. This allows you to unequip your hands to fists by just saying fists or unequip. The rest of this installer is just full of information, which feel free to read through at your own leisure, but I'm just going to skip through it for now for time reasons. Now that we've gone through the installer, you need to open the folder where your mod manager of choice stores its unpacked mods. If you're using Nexus Mod Manager, the button is right here, where you can click Open NMM's Mods folder. If you're using Mod Organizer, you can click the Way of the Voice mod and hit Open in Explorer. Or if you're using Vortex, the button is here, next to the Remove button. It's called Open in File Manager. Whichever one, when you click it, should open up the folder containing all of the files that the installer unpacked. In order for Way of the Voice to function properly, you need to copy and paste at least the folders from this folder over to where your Skyrim install folder is. Just paste them into the data folder and replace them if you're upgrading from a previous The reason you need to copy over these folders is because mod using your mod manager, it will move the files over, but they might not necessarily actually be in the folder, and if that's the case, voice macro won't have access to the files and won't function properly. And with that, way of the voice itself is fully installed. The next step is to unpack and run the voice macro zip file that we downloaded earlier. To do that, open it up, select everything inside, and unpack it to the folder of your choice. 
the first thing we're going to want to do is make sure that voice macro runs as administrator. To do that, right click the voice macro.exe, go to the properties button, compatibility tab, and check the box labeled run this program as an administrator. Go ahead and hit OK, and then you can open up voice macro by double clicking it. Once the voice macro window pops up, it may greet you with a little box saying, hey, this is your first time opening voice macro. Do you want to load a demonstration profile? You can go ahead and click no on this unless you want to get to know the program a little bit better. But the next step for us is to import the way of the voice profile. To do this, we're going to hit the edit button in the top corner here and then hit the import button on the bottom of the window that pops up. Now you want to navigate to the way of the voice.xml file that was installed when we installed the way of the voice. Unless you copied over the XML file while we were copying over the folders earlier, it's probably located where your mod manager stores your mods. Go ahead and double click it to import the file. When you do so, the profiles and macros window will fill up with a whole bunch of stuff, which is everything that voice macro uses to function. Go ahead and hit save on this window, and you should be greeted by a little window starting the setup process. If you're not, go ahead and close voice macro and start it up again. This setup process will only show up the first time you install the mod or every time that you install a major update. I tried to make each step of the setup process as transparent as possible with each window accurately and concisely explaining what it's trying to do, but I'm going to go through it with you now just to make sure that I cover anything that might not be obvious at first glance. First things first, we have to choose which mods that Way of the Voice supports that you have installed so that we can enable the support for those mods within Way of the Voice. To do this, we use this window, which lists all the mods that Way of the Voice supports. To enable support for any of these mods, use these arrows to move your selection arrow up and down, and use on and off to toggle states between on and off. Because voice macro only supports a maximum of three buttons per window, sometimes in order to go back or exit out of a window, I had to put a little arrow up by the X. On some windows, it doesn't show up and just shows up as a dot dot dot, but if you see anything next to the X, that means you can click the X to go to the next window. If you choose to enable Dragonborn Speaks Naturally's console list command entry system, you want to toggle that mod to be enabled in this window. If you do so, when you exit out of the window, you'll be shown a disclaimer basically saying, make sure Dragonborn Speaks Naturally is working correctly, because if it's not, Way of the Voice won't work at all. Go ahead and hit Acknowledged to confirm that you read this. From here, the setup will step you through a whole bunch of options that you can set within Way of the Voice to make it run the way that you want it to. First up, you need to choose which version of Skyrim you're using with Way of the Voice. This will change the systems through which it will enter commands into your game, so long that you're not using the Dragonborn Speaks Naturally support. If you are using that, this choice makes no difference. Next up, we need to browse to where your game is installed. If you hit the OK button, it will bring you to a folder selector in which you can browse to where you have the version of Skyrim that you intend on using with Way of the Voice installed. You can go ahead and navigate there, selecting the folder that contains the data folder. Don't select the data folder itself. Once you've picked that, go ahead and hit OK and it'll ask you if what you entered looks correct. If for some reason it got it wrong, you can hit no to open the folder selector again. Or if you somehow selected the wrong folder, it should ask you for the correct folder again. If this looks right to you, go ahead and hit yep, and we'll go to the next step where it asks you to browse to where your plugins.txt is for the game that you're using currently. 
If you're using a mod manager, this is probably located in a profile folder for your game, such as I'm using mod organizer. And so my plugins.txt is located in my mod organizer folder under the profiles folder. And then you select the profile you'll be using and select the plugins.txt. This will also ask if what you got is right. If you're not using a mod manager that stores your plugins.txt in a profiles folder, you can probably find your plugins.txt located in your app data folder instead. To access this, you can select the URL bar up in here and type percent local app data percent and hit enter. From here, you want to scroll down until you find the folder for the version of Skyrim that you're using. For me, I'm currently using Skyrim VR. And in here, you'll have a plugins.txt that you can select. Once this looks right, go ahead and hit yep and go on to the next step. This is the point in the setup where Way of the Voice will ask you things that will actually change the way it functions. The first choice you have is your default hand. Whenever you equip a spell without specifying which hand to equip it to, the one that it'll equip it to is what you choose it to be here. The next choice is applicable if you're a left-handed person and you have your primary and secondary hands swapped in Skyrim VR. Bethesda coded the game so that if you have this enabled in-game, if I were to set a spell to your left hand, it would go to your right hand. So if you turn on lefty flip, it will swap this, and so your hands will be accurate if you're a lefty. The next choice you have is how much vocal feedback you want when you equip a command. If you choose the descriptive option when you say, equip flames on my left hand, it'll say, equipping flames on your left hand. If you choose the basic option, it will only say the name of the spell that you're equipping. And if you choose play a tone instead, it won't say anything, it'll just make a little noise to confirm that it actually heard you. Now this option I only put in here because some people found it annoying, but I would highly recommend leaving this on. Setting is, should way of the voice play a sound when you say the name of the spell that you haven't yet unlocked in your spellbook. If you want to preview what the sounds sound like, you can hit the let me hear them button and press these play buttons to preview the sounds, but I'll leave that up to you. Again, I would recommend leaving these on. This setting changes how long the system will pause between hitting your console button to open the console in-game and entering the command. Because on some slower systems, the game can lag a bit when you hit the console button. There are options to make the pause a little longer, but for most people, the ultra settings, 0.1 second is probably enough. This next setting is really only applicable to people who are streaming, but I've added in the option to have Way of the Voice return to another window, like give focus to another window other than your game after it sends each command. This was added because some streamers noted that OBS will lose a lot of frames if you leave focus on the game window. But take note that if you're using Dragonborn Speaks Naturally support, this will do nothing. And with that, we come to the last step in the settings, selecting the layout of your keyboard. For US and Australia, and I believe UK keyboards, the button above your tab button that activates the console in-game is this one, the tilde, but for European keyboards and some other locations, there are a few buttons that are changed on the keyboard because of the different keyboard layout. And so the button above the tab button, the button that activates the console in-game, has this icon on it instead. Just select which keyboard layout is applicable to you. It's probably worth noting that as I update Way of the Voice, some of these windows might not look exactly the same, or I may add in other selections that may fall anywhere between these other ones. And so this video may not remain entirely accurate throughout all of the future, but 
what you see here shouldn't change. Next up, we get to the meat and potatoes of the setup for Way of the Voice, and that is setting the load order slots for your DLC and your mods. As you can see, we have nothing set up right now, and so it says that the slot for Dawn Guard and Dragonborn are both error, which means no or empty. They haven't been set yet. If you want to change which mods you have activated, as you can see right now, the only mod I have activated is Dragonborn Speaks Naturally from the beginning of this setup process. You can hit the Add or Remove Mods button, and it'll bring you to the same window that we got at the beginning, where you can choose which mods you have active. If you're not sure which mods you have installed, any of these mods will be activated for you if the automatic load order configurator finds them in your plugins.txt. However, if you choose to use the manual load order configurator, you must have these checked in order for it to ask you to set its slot. Either way, once you're finished here, go back and select yes because he says, do any of these need to be changed? And obviously, yes they do. At this point, the setup will ask you whether you want to do manual setup or try the automatic load order configurator. The manual configurator is useful for if for some reason the automatic one messes up and sets your slots to something that they actually aren't, but I would recommend trying the automatic one before relying on the manual. Once you click automatic, it will confirm that the plugins.txt location we chose earlier is still accurate. If you don't want to change it, go ahead and hit no. And it will also ask which version of Skyrim that you chose. If this is still accurate, go ahead and hit yes. This is the same window that you will see for every mod and DLC that you have installed if you choose the manual configurator. It works by setting your slot here, and you can increase or decrease what slot it is. But when it's the correct one, you go ahead and hit select, and it will move on to the next one. The DLC, Dawnguard and Dragonborn, unfortunately there's no way for Way of the Voice to automatically determine where they are in your load order, and so you have to set them manually. For Dragonborn, some people have issues with it because what your mod manager might say, say for me, says that my Dragonborn is in slot 04, but if I were to check it in game, it's actually in slot 03. To accurately determine what your load order slots are from the in game console, there is information on the way of the voice instructions article that will tell you what you should type into the console to find the actual load order slots according to the game for each of your installed mods. The next step will ask which slot is the last slot that contains Bethesda made game data. This should be the slot in your mod manager that shows up before the beginning of your mod added plugins. To find out which mod is at the top of your plugins, you can check your plugins.txt file. For me, my first one is rskyrimchildren.esm, and so therefore, I should choose the slot that comes before that one in my load order. For that one, the mod index is 05. If you're using Nexus Mod Manager, you want to check under the plugins tab and if I were to check the plugins.txt for this setup the first plugin would be skyrimvr.esm therefore I would want to choose one slot above that which would be load order slot 04 if you're using vortex you want to check under the plugins tab of what is the slot above the first mod added plugin which would be 04 for this installation. The plugins.txt I'm using for my current installation, however, is through Mod Organizer, and so I will choose Mod Index 05. Once you select this by hitting the select button, the automatic load order configurator will look through your plugins.txt file 
and automatically assign the load order slots corresponding to the mods that you have in your load order. When you do that, it should look something like this. Next, it will ask if you want to be led through a tutorial on how Way of the Voice works and how you should use it. I'll leave this for you to do as an exercise so that you can learn how the system works at your own pace. And with that, we are finished with the Way of the Voice configuration. You should be able to start up your game now, say start listening to make the system listen to you, and fulfill your dreams of being the all-powerful Dragonborn. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helped you get your installation up and running, but if you have more questions, always feel free to visit the Articles tab on the Nexus page. There are a bunch of articles, each containing a lot of information that will help you make this work even better. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to post them on the Posts tab, or join us on our Discord server and come talk to us there. Now go enjoy your game and...